So here we have a world comprised of different sized boxes. We're gonna go into each of the corners and drop a handful of people. Let's put a few humans down here, a few elves over here in fantasy land, and this long narrow stretch can go the dwarves, and then over here in the desert can go the orcs, because I don't like them very much. And there's also all these different holes in the mountains for them to go to different blocks, but we're just gonna plug those up. And in order for them to advance to the next block and get more land, one of their kings is gonna have to die. And there's also a few of these like infernal or fire squares too. So once they get here, it's going to be really interesting. And not all the squares are equal size. So if they expand into this little territory, they're going to not get very far. And since this little area here is pretty much the center of the map, this is going to be where the good stuff goes, like adamantine and a whole lot of it. So this is going to be the square to get to. All right, that should be all of the gaps in the walls filled up. And we're also going to give the people in their starting squares a little bit of extra stuff like berries and rocks. Oh, maybe not that many rocks. He took out some trees. Let's just put those back. There we go. And then maybe just a little bit of stone and ore. There we go. Just so they can have a decent start once they get going. Oh, look at that. The orcs don't get berries in the desert. Oh, that's too bad. But they do get rocks, though. Hooray! And some ore. And give lots of goodies to the dwarves. Who, unfortunately, don't get as much because their starting block is so skinny. And now the elves. That looks like a good start for each of them. So let's get this started and see how they do. All right. The humans are the first to make a civilization. That's good. Ooh, and it looks like they already have a king in place. Uh, Maybe not quite. They have a prince, at least. The world population is 200 roughly, so there's about 50 people in each block. And they have already filled up this entire square that they started with, which is good. Interestingly enough, no one else has made a kingdom yet. Oh, but now the humans have a king. Once you go down, your civilization can expand. And the orcs are just marching around because they don't really know what to do. Interestingly enough, none of them really feel like making a kingdom. I mean, they have everything they need to get established. The humans were the first to do it. Whatever's going on, there's like no initiative from these three groups. That's a little strange. I feel like they might be missing a certain thing in setting up a kingdom. Maybe it's trees? Hmm, that must not be it. Is it land? Do they need more land? Let's just expand that. Oh, okay. Just kind of gave them a bit of extra land there. And they still aren't doing anything. Maybe I'll just need to assign a random elf to be a favorite since none of these other ones want to make a kingdom. Once the favorites die, then they'll expand. I did give the elves a little bit of a head start, so maybe I'll do that as well with these other ones. Just open up the path right there. And then I guess over here you can get this one. Oh, now all the orcs are starting to starve. That's what happens when you can't get berries in a desert. And then open up the path for the humans as well. I'll give them this one. They have a really good start right now, so they don't need a whole lot more resources. And the elves are also starting to die. Do you not see all these berry bushes right here? Maybe we need to give them things that they can eat, like uh, cows. Or no, elves don't do that, do they? Okay, they all seem to be dying of hunger, so let's just turn that off so this doesn't happen. Not sure why they just refuse to eat the berry bushes in front of them, but what can you do? I do get the feeling that the human king is going to die first because humans don't have that long of a lifespan. But also one of the humans died pretty early. That's interesting. And no one else really seems to be taking advantage of the extra land that they have. Maybe each of these other places just had a really bad start. But that's the way it goes. And the way I'm going to control which way they expand is that they need to own an entire side of the block like the elves do here before they can expand into it. So the elves are going to go here next. The humans, well, they could go here or here. I think I'll give them the smaller space to begin with, which means that the orcs go here, I guess. But then once the orcs get here, they'll have a lot of room to expand after that. And then the dwarves will go in here, which it looks like there are some chickens, so they'll be able to use that. And any disasters that happen along the way happen. And it looks like we're about to enter the Age of Dark at year 40, and there isn't a whole lot going on here. Oh, one of the favorites just died. It was one of the orcs. Okay, so that means they get to expand in here. Just gonna open up the path for them like so, and then they'll use whatever little is there. So now I need to pick a new favorite. I pick you. And how old is the human king right now? 61 years old. Ooh, Redaz. Oh, <laughs> one of the orcs again. Well, I did pick him at random, so they get to expand once more. I'll give them this square because it was like right next to their home base. There, now they're building a kingdom. Very good. So maybe they just needed space. And now I don't need to favorite the orcs anymore. I can just watch the king. Oh, that, that king died. All right, then we'll expand even more this way, giving them access from both sides. And now they have a lot of room to grow. Or maybe they are doing good because they're expanding, but their population isn't going up. Okay, it is starting to go up. Uh, wait, 
the king just died again. What is going on with these kings? So then they get this square down here. The orcs are really speed running the expansion. Where's my favorite dwarf? There you are. How are you doing? He is 73 years old. That should be pretty good for him. Ooh, it looks like the humans have taken a major population hit and the elves still have not unified. And you are 74 years old. So the orcs had a rough beginning, but they've really started to build back and the population has already dropped 50 people. The humans were the greatest number, but now they're really starting to die off. They're gonna need to expand pretty soon. Oh, but they just set up a windmill so they can get some farming going. Hopefully that's enough to save them. Oh, and there the human king died. So now the humans get to expand. And, uh, oh, again. Okay, so they'll get this square and this square. Let's just open it up for them. They get a little bit of the crook land. What the? There's some lemon people. <laughs> I was not expecting there to be lemon people here. How you doing? Well, maybe that just means that they're on the side of the humans or they're an easy source of food. There, now that the humans have more land, they're beginning to expand again and grow in population. Good thing they got that windmill going and this elf here is still doing really good and so is this dwarf and this king of the orcs is still doing really good it was almost bad for the humans but now they've almost built up to their starting population Ooh, it looks like they're starting to become some fire imp thingies in the infernal squares that's gonna be exciting later oh and it looks like there's been some random adamantine to show up that's gonna give the humans a major advantage as long as they can use it it looks like the corrupted biome has started to take over the other ones this is not looking good for them but the good news is it hasn't interfered with the windmill so they can still use it oh now we've entered the age of despair this is gonna be really rough for them but now the orcs have set up a second village which was disconnected but now they reconnected it that is interesting i would expect them to expand outward naturally at whoa oh a meteor just fell from the sky and it crashed right down in here it looks like the wall is still intact although that is an interesting idea if something natural breaks down the walls then you know what can you do about it oh and there's more things crashing down i guess that comes with the age of despair hopefully it doesn't land on any of them or it doesn't kill the king and then they get to expand you really don't know what's gonna happen and there's also a lot of creatures just naturally spawning in these other blocks too that should give the people some opportunities there Oh, the king of the orcs died again. So they'll get to expand into this square down here with all of these trees. That should help them with things. Now that they have actual lumber that they can build houses with. And the orc king has died again. So let's... Whoa! Okay, <laughs> meteor just crashes down right there. They get this square. There's adamantine in some of those meteors. And right now, the orcs have a major numbers advantage over the humans. And each of these other favorites just hasn't died yet. They better hope for some major expansion by the time that happens. Once more, the orc king has died. Oh! Oh, wow! Okay, and a meteor fell right on top of the orc village. Yikes! But that gives them free adamantine. And room to expand right over here. And another king has died. Okay, now the orcs will get to go right down here into this major square, which should be really good for them. Uh-oh, a favorite has died. It was the dwarves. Now the dwarves get to expand. It was about time, too. They'll go right down there, and I need to pick a new favorite. I pick you. And the orcs have reached a population of 100. Oh, the orc king got killed by somebody. Oh, and that dwarf favorite just died. All right, pause a few things here. We'll give the orcs this square of infernal space here, and then the dwarves can finally expand into this big desert area. So let's give them plenty of access for that, and then we should should see yes the dwarf village is set and now they have a king restless dreams during cold nights have brought back the white ice ones oh we have some ice giants in here and are they up here they're somewhere there's a lot of fighting going on up here funny enough i haven't seen too many deaths from the human village but now the dwarves lost another king so let's get them going up here into this space Ooh, the age is done good and now they're in the age of hope so everything should be okay oh and another dwarf king just died so they'll get this square right here and the elves long life is really working against their advantage they got like no land developed right now and whoa they're starting to form an alliance the dwarves and the humans how can they even communicate they're on the opposite sides of the map well now they formed an alliance so we'll see how long that lasts now the dwarves are starting to use the new land that they have which is good and there's only one wall separating the orcs from the dwarves so i think i'll leave that stay in place as long as i can so this favorite elf is at 157 years old i feel like that's gonna be close to when it dies they better hope so anyway they really need land wait the king has abandoned how are you going to abandon a place he can't escape from well the king didn't die so that doesn't count too bad humans you had a chance to expand and your king wasted it and it looks like this one infernal land is really starting to overtake the orcs uh place oh speaking of that the orc king just died so you guys get to have this square with the swampy place and oh i guess that gave him this square too 
Whoops, we can't have that going on too early. Let's just close that off and just uh, take out this village entirely. There we go. Square is nice and empty, but we will need to take out the life that's in here. Sorry, orcs, you expanded a little too quick. There we go. Cleanse the square. You'll get it soon. Oh, I might have killed the king during that. Well, they get the square anyway. So, hey, welcome to the square you just had. I'm also curious to expand this infernal a bit more. I feel like interesting things could come of that. Like, it's just slowly starting to take over the orc square. So, the orcs have the infernal spot to worry about. The humans, wow, their entire land is corrupted. And the orc king just died again. So, they'll get this little sliver right in here. Oh, the dwarves are breaking the alliance with the humans. It is dissolved. Oh. And then they form an alliance again. These guys just really can't make up their mind. But it looks like the dwarves are making quite a few farming spots, which is good. Really got to make the most out of that desert that they have. So the humans and dwarves have made a new alliance. Wonder how long that's going to last. Also, what is the deal with this elf here? I guess it still has a miracle born trait, which means that its maximum age is increased. And it looks like the world is about to enter the next age. The age of sun. This probably means there's going to be more fires breaking out, which is going to be really good for the uh, infernal biome right here. A blazing heat wave has swept across the land. So some of these squares might just burn up entirely before people can get to them. That would not be a good thing. I also love that like some of the humans have lemon people running around. Oh, here's one of them. This lemon square has started to burn up. Oh, and there's nothing that can save them. And this infernal biome has just taken over right here. I wonder if that means that the orcs are going to have to fight a lot more of those like uh fire elementals or whatever they are. At least it's not interfering with the crops all that much. Oh, the favorite died. Oh, finally, the elves get to expand. They have waited for this for a long time. There it is. There's the elf village I was looking for. And what? They've already split? Elves, what are you doing? That is not the way you win this. Well, there's probably gonna be a war here in the future. Are you kidding me? The human king has abandoned them again. I don't think they really know the rules here. The king has to die for you to get more land, which does raise an interesting question for the elves. There's two, oh, a wild mage appeared. Hold on. Oh, he's uh, he's stuck in the infernal square and he's setting fires everywhere. Well, uh, that's gonna be an obstacle and he is just being rude right now to everything. So this elf king just died. Okay, pause for for a moment there's two elf kings here which means that the elves have double the chance to expand very interesting but since the king was down here on this side of the world they'll expand into this square down here and we'll also see what happens with this crystal biome right here and also quite a few squares are now getting kind of endless cycle of grow back and why does the human king keep abandoning them but now the orc king died so they get to expand once more they'll get this little square here and the elf king died again yep this is the growth spurt that the elf kingdom really needed so many lands are burning right now oh and that elf kingdom was just entirely destroyed which i guess counts for the king dying so this kingdom will get to expand over this way assuming that they live they only have three people left and the next age is the age of tears which could not come fast enough it looks like the elves might have chosen just the worst time to start expanding and that was all of the elf village but there's still one left so there might be a chance oh no he's on fire and he died what a tragic again for the elves but it's their fault for waiting so long and so many lands are just burning right now surprisingly not too much of the orc land is burning i guess because it's already ablaze there's not too much more that the orcs can expand before i have to let them into one of the territories they are getting close to the center square though with all that adamantine oh and it looks like there's some infighting among the humans oh no they're starting to fight something oh tornado ripping through oh gosh well that might be what the humans need because a king might get caught in that it actually didn't Uh oh but some of the humans ended up in this square that's so bad for them and there's lightning strikes happening over here what is what is going on over here here uh okay oh there's an evil mage in there just terrorizing the dwarves well that's not good unless the king dies in which case it's very good for them and that evil mage is just wrecking them right now but the king is staying very far away from all of it and miraculously the human king was not killed by that tornado that's too bad oh the king just died the dwarves get to expand they'll go right down here and now the dwarf king died again so they'll get to open up down here Hopefully this means that the dwarves fight back. Oh, and they're trying. They're trying. They're really trying. The sorcerer is under attack, but nope. It's not uh, It's not paying out very well for the dwarves. I started the orcs with like the least amount of stuff possible, and now they're just absolutely dominating the board. And if the dwarves just get a little bit more of kings dying, then they'll get this square, and then eventually one of these two squares down here. Oh, wow. This is a bad time to be a king. And really? Really? Okay, I guess it wasn't quick enough on that, but... The king got flown into here, which, was it you? But as a rule state, he should have been destroyed. So we're just gonna annihilate him really quickly. 
And I think that's enough reason for the humans to expand. So we'll give them this square right here. There we go. Now I wonder, oh wow, there's a lot of things attacking the king. I guess because the king just keeps getting scared that it keeps abandoning them. But, oh wow, the humans just got completely wiped out. It didn't expand soon enough, and now this corner's just being overrun by ghosts. Oh yeah, and I guess they are in the Age of Dark again. So now all that's left is the orcs and the dwarves. And the orc land is just almost entirely this raging infernal stuff. And so has been for the dwarves. That's really interesting. I wasn't expecting some biomes to grow faster than other ones. And you know what? We already had an Age of Dark, so let's just spice things up a little bit. So as the next stage is the Age of Sun, we'll go back there. But we already had this one, so... Ooh, the Age of... Ice. This should be interesting. And it really doesn't affect the Infernal Land all that much. The Orc King just died, which means that they get to expand. I'll go right down here. And the Orc King has died again. At Whoa! Earthquake in the Dwarf Kingdom. I think the Orcs have earned it at this point. They get this square here. And I think they can expand into this square safely now. There's not much time left for the dwarves to make it to the middle. And it sounds like there's a lot more of those fire elementals running around too. And they also keep freezing. I guess that's what happens in the Age of Ice. And now the armies are prepping at the wall. I wonder if they're going to start shooting at each other. And wow, the orcs just have a major population boom right now. And this separation is going to be very interesting. It looks like a small village where he's at. So this might be a very quickly lived rebellion. But there it is. Oh, it's actually quite a large chunk of it and now they're at war with each other i kind of figured that would happen but that split their population like right down the middle and okay so yep they're at war kings are dying so let's see okay let's look at the world history for a little bit so let's see this is where i expanded them and then both from the Ighaz kingdom so theirs will be the one that expands into this little square here i'm really curious now whatever kingdom wins is going to be the one that gets the adamantine in the middle and Ig Oz is starting to lose this. Even though they're the ones that declared war, it really didn't work out very well for them, did it? And Ig Oz King has died again, so you guys will go down here now. But now that civil war is over, and the new Orc Kingdom has emerged triumphant. So this is not looking very good for the dwarves. On that note, how is the Dwarf King still alive? He's lived a long time, which is not good for the dwarves. And it looks like there's more snowmen running rampant right down in here. So they're giving the Orcs a hard time, even though the Age of Ice is over. It would be kind of funny if the Orc population and just took a major hit because of snowmen. Although these orc military leaders should have some good... Oh, he has got a legendary stick. And now next time an orc king dies, then they get all the adamantine in the middle. Gotta say, I am a bit surprised. The orcs were the underdogs in this situation. They had the least amount of stuff when starting, and they somehow came out on top. But it's not over yet, though. The dwarves could swing this around if they just have a, you know, rapid succession of kings dying. And the orc king has died once more. They've looked forward to this for a long time, but now they get the adamantine in the middle of the map. So how quick until they snatch it up, I wonder? Oh, there's been some wild dogs in there too. And some polar bears. But yep, they're quickly getting to mining it all out. So their army's gonna be nice and strong. What has happened here? Oh, windmill. Next king to die is from the orcs. I think you all know what happens now. We open up the border between the dwarves and the orcs. And then a war is about to ensue. And I think the outcome of this is pretty predictable. They're fighting right on the border, but the dwarves didn't have nearly the preparations for things coming in as the orcs did and wow that dwarf kingdom just got cut in half and the king died again which technically means that they get more land and so do the dwarves so we open them up down here which really doesn't matter all that much because the dwarf kingdom is pretty much entirely eliminated and now the only population left is the orcs who take over the entire world and it only took them 340 years to do it so i think that's going to do it for this video today a really interesting outcome. The orcs started from this little square up here, and now they own like half the map with more on the way. So I do hope you guys enjoyed watching that. If you did, then let me know what other ideas you want to see in this game. So thank you very much for watching and sub to intern. And I do want to thank the channel members, including Bread, Dakota C, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Destructo Man, Bladed Archer, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Eyeballus, and Hateful Herald.